everybody. Happy Saturday. So we're not going to my mom's today because Daryl slept in and then it just got to be too late in the afternoon because we, we plan on going out to dinner with our friends and then Daryl would have to come back home and shower and it was just too late. So I decided to take my butt on down to Dollar Tree. So that's where we're going. I want to see the cats need treats and so if I can find some good cat treats not something crazy and funky that would make them sick at the Dollar Tree I don't know I've never looked at Dollar Tree for cat treats or cat food so I'm just gonna see if they have any good treats and then Daryl wants some treats and then I need a, a lighter like a, a little propane candle lighter or whatever you call them those and that's about it but it's too nice to not get out it's four o'clock so that's what we're doing and we're gonna go to a Dollar Tree that the one that's kind of farther because they have better stuff my the other Dollar Tree that's close to me never has anything good and I'm not in my Subaru I'm in my Honda so everything's lumpy and bumpity so sorry it's a beautiful day today my car says it's 66 degrees but it still feels kind of cold I don't know maybe it's just my old bones talk about a random haul. They didn't have milk duds and I didn't know what treats to get Daryl so he got some licorice and that's it. I got two bags. And then I got this for my niece, a whooping cushion. Her birthday was the other day and we're going to get together and have dinner with her and their her family later this week and so what little kid doesn't want a whoopee cushion? And I got my candle lighter this light is terrible and then totally random I got some plant holder thingies and I did find some cat treats some nine lives and that's all I got and I'm gonna open me some licorice because I'm starving Daryl's gonna be like you didn't give me any other treats but it's like we have everything already at our house there's nothing new to get him you know How's that? Even worse. But the licorice is nice and soft. I'm so hungry and this is so good. So the whole time I was in there, there was this little kid squeaking that dog toy. Like the whole time. I just recorded a snippet. But it was like the whole time. Oh my gosh. And the mom was like, be quiet, be quiet. And he kept doing it the whole time. Anyway. Alright, I guess I'll go home now. Everybody's driving by looking at me like, what is she doing? I'm eating licorice, thank you. Alright. So, I went to another Dollar Tree on my way home. And I got Daryl some Reese's Pieces. I like these too, so I'm sure I'll be eating some. I grabbed a little thing of these note cards. These are so fun because they're narrow. I love them. And I found his milk duds here, so I got him two boxes of milk duds. And the last thing I got was this package of sugar sprinkled coconut cookies. These are really good. You get 10 packs 
and ooh, bonus packs are in here. Two bonus packs. And um, they're really sweet. But, and I think you get like four cookies in a pack. I don't even know, I don't remember. But they're good. And it was an impulse. And I'm gonna just have them to put in my purse. Hey everybody, happy Monday. I am going to put some chicken in the crock pot and it is two o'clock, so yeah. I'm just gonna make my crock pot chicken like I always make and I can't wait. I can't wait to eat it. So my crock pot is clear down here. I bought at the Walmart and the shirt that I got at the Old Navy. So very comfy, very cozy. I'd say I'm going to put in about three boobies. eat my prunes today. I brought them downstairs for the weekend. They're right here. So I'm going to have some prunes. I'm going to do three. I already said that. is the biggest mess. And I have to start laundry. And I really don't have anywhere to go today, so I don't know. Onion soup mix that I got from the Dollar Tree. There's half a package left, so I'm just going to put the rest of it in. to have discovered the crock pot. You don't even know. So, I, you know, I don't really think these prunes work. But then again, I only eat like three. But they don't really make me regular or anything like that. Dollar Tree for the babies and they love them and they do they look just like little chicken legs little drumsticks they love them they do so I'm gonna always get my cat treats at the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna hopefully hopefully they'll always have these I guess I should stock up I don't know 
And then I thought I bought two bags of these at the Dollar Tree, and I guess I only bought one. I swear I put two in the cart, but I only paid for one, so that's always good. All right. And I opened up one of these. This is a four pack. That's really good. You know, most things are like a three pack over there. So anyway, I got, I'm using one and I'm just, I just put these under my sink in the kitchen for whatever. Alright. Let's go start some laundry, shall we? As you can see, I've been chillaxing on the bed. <laughs> I am so bad. I start a vlog and then I have nothing to vlog and so I stop. Like Saturday after the Dollar Tree, it was like <laughs> done, done. And then Sunday I went to my dad's and then today I threw the chicken in the pot, put the laundry in the washer, done. <laughs> so, I am so sorry. This, this is most likely going to be the most boring vlog ever. I say that a lot. Well, not too much, but I do say it. But I think this one will hold true to what I say. Anyway, it's 5.20, my chicken is in here. I know you're not supposed to open the lid, but I'm gonna. Oh yes, they are done. They look good. So, so what I need to do is skim that nasty slime off the top. Ugh, I hate the sludge, or sledge, or whatever you call it. The, that, ew, it just grosses me out. So I need to take that out and then I'm gonna shred it. This is not the best angle. Oh, it looks so bad. But, ew, I just, it's like big slimy skin. I wish I knew how to skim it off better. Heck, this is so hard. I need to get one of those basting brushes with the actual bristles. I have a silicone one, but it doesn't stick at all. Nasty. I don't know. Maybe a fork would be better. Yeah, I mean, look at that. Look at that, ew. I don't know how to stop it. I use frozen chicken breast, maybe that's why it happens. Yeah, use a fork, a fork is good. I'm glad I did three chicken boobs because they shrink. And Lola's been dying to go outside, but it's really windy and cold today. No! And I'm not used to wearing leggings, and so I've been cold all day. <laughs> Alright. That's good. I mean, look at all that. That is just nasty. So... I'm gonna shred my meat. And then we can eat. 
Got it all shredded. So now I'm just gonna add some parsley flakes. You can't taste this stuff, but it makes it look nice. A little bit of black pepper. And then I have the onion soup mix in here, so I really don't need any onion powder or anything like that. And this is just, I just added a little over a cup of water and a half a packet of onion soup mix. And it's good. Oh, so good, you guys. So I'm gonna turn it to low. And then Daryl gets some rice with his. And I'm just gonna have a sweet potato and then I'm going to make the Snaps breaded green beans from the Dollar Tree. And yeah, hopefully that'll be good for all of us. I mean, look at that. That is just not attractive. It's nasty. Just nasty. All right, so here are the green beans that we're going to be having. I've never tried these before. But Tyler Ramey loves them, and a lot of other people love them too. And so I decided to try them, and this is like just enough for two people, or one person. But these look really good, and it just says to bake at 450. The toaster oven says 350, that's what I'm gonna do, 350, for five to seven minutes, and then flip over for another five to seven minutes. So that's what I'll do. I'll just, I don't know if I'm supposed to grease the pan, but these probably have enough grease in them already that I shouldn't really have to do that. So I'm not cooking these yet. I'm just getting them ready. Daryl's not home yet, so I just wanted to get them ready and then show you guys what they looked like. Out of package and into the pan. And then over here, I normally make brown rice in my rice cooker, but since I'm not having rice, I'm just doing a white minute rice in the microwave. Minute rice cooks up really nicely. The brown minute rice does not in the microwave. It just, I can't get it to go. It's, it's always too watery and hard, and so I always use the rice cooker for brown rice, but for white rice, minute rice, microwave is great. And then I'm also going to have some yam. So Daryl gets chicken and rice and green beans and I get chicken and yam and green beans. And this will also be cooked in the microwave. So that's that everybody. My beans in there cooking and my rice is in there cooking. I need to turn these over in just a minute and get the other side. They smell good. Here it is everybody, here's dinner. I just put a little bit of rice on my plate and some yams and my beans and then there's Daryl's. And then ranch for the beans. They're good. So, so, so good. These beans are good. I made these beans are from the Dollar Tree and they're coated. They're good. They like the hamburger habit, please. Like, yeah, they're really good. My yam is a little dry because I didn't cook it right in the microwave, but that's all right. It's still good. Daryl doesn't like yam, so I didn't make him any. Lola Bella. I put these towels on the steps because I was going to take him upstairs and she's totally laying on them. 
It's the cutest thing ever. He's so special. He's so special. He's so special. He's so special. Love you. Yep, you can stay there for as long as you want. If this one, if you want this to be your new bed forever, then I'll just leave him right here forever. <laughs> Sissy, she's not coming, huh? She's just chilling out in the other room, huh? Yeah, you're my girl. Yeah. No, Sissy. Let's shut the door and have private closet time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at that belly. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. So, hey, everybody. Look at this mess. I am just puffy and <sighs> tired. I developed a headache a couple hours ago and it never went away. It was like a stress headache and it never went away. Something happened and I was like total, total headache just and now it won't go away. But I don't want to take Excedrin because it's 8.30 and I don't want to be up all night. So I'm just gonna grin and bear it and then try to go to bed early. That's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, this vlog was um Saturday. Um Daryl was just on the couch most of the day, sleeping, taking naps, and so I went to the Dollar Tree because I was going crazy. I had to get out of the house and go do something and um ew and um so, after Dollar Tree, we went to dinner with our friends at Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. And I just had the veggie country platter, which was a side salad, and then you can choose four vegetable sides. So I got corn, green beans, and mashed potatoes, and a side salad. And it was really good. And of course, I had couple of their fantastic rolls. Oh, so cute. She was totally digging through that. She was playing with everything in there. It's some makeup samples that I had under my sink in my bathroom. So anyway, we went to Texas Roadhouse and then came home and that was the end of that. And then today was not much more productive. I did get my laundry done and I cooked dinner. And I worked. And I got dressed. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't put makeup on today because that would have been a total waste. <sighs> anyway. So anyway, um, the other day when I was wearing that purple flowered shirt, you know, um, I was wearing an eyeshadow and one of you commented um, that you liked it and wondered what it was. And I told her it was from MAC. It was a MAC pigment sample that I had. And so here it is. And the color is Circa Plum. 
I have no clue if they still have this. Um, I went on a website probably about um, seven, eight years ago. It's called allcosmeticswholesale.com. I don't even know if it still exists. I am assuming it does. But I went on there and I would get little samples. I mean, they sell all this makeup for at wholesale prices like MAC and all these other brands. Estee Lauder, um, Clinique, all these brands. And then when it came to the pigments in the MAC segment, um, sometimes they would give out, you could order little samples. And so that's what I did. And so that's what a lot of these are. And this one is Circa Plum. And they just give you a tiny bit, but it's all you need. Forever. <laughs> so, let me just show you. So down here, we've got the Circa Plum. And here's some in the lid. I can just dig my finger in it. It's a really nice, cool tone plum. Um, and it almost kind of looks violet when you put it on your eyes. Hold on. Anyway, so there it is with light. Now let me turn the light off. Okay, so there it is without the light. But anyway, it's it's pretty nice. I like it. It it's not as nice as Bare Minerals. This particular one, it kind of it's not as smooth and wonderful. But it's really nice, and I forgot I had it, and I like it. So I'm glad I found it. But yeah, I I want to go back on and see if they have any more. But they had lots of colors. I just ordered some that looked good to me. And I haven't worn these in years. So here's Circa Plum. And then another one I had ordered is called Rich Life. And it's just kind of a brown. I'll have to um, swatch these one day. And then here's one called Lily White. Oh, it's so bright. There we go. And this is kind of like a peachy champagne color. And then this one is, I didn't like this one. It feels like the lids are loose. This one's golden tan. It, this one's like really flaky. So I don't ever wear this. Ugh. There we go. And then this one is vintage gold. And it looks about what it looks like on camera here. It's just a nice vintage gold looking color. And okay, that's the lily white. This one, Jardin Ares. I don't know. I think I liked this one. It's kind of a champagne color. And then I got this deep blue green. This is really a rich color. It's really pigmented. I'll show you in just a minute. And then this one is Museum Bronze. Quite bronzy. And then this one is Sunny Days. I think I remember liking this one a lot. Okay, so here's Sunny Days, and then here's that deep blue thing. Let's see. Ooh. Should I just put it on my leg? <laughs> That's not very attractive. And then here, they gave me a lot of this blue. But see how it kind of goes on chunky? And then you have to put that on your eyelid and it kind of has fallout. Hold on. Oh, I don't like this at all. I forgot. It, it goes on kind of black. It doesn't look blue at all. It goes on black. I don't like it at all. I forgot all about that, but yep, now I remember. It looks nice and blue and then you stick it on and it's black. Looks blue on your finger. 
but then when you rub it into your skin, it goes totally black. So that's a total fail. I don't like it. Glad I only got a sample of it. This can be used for Halloween. <laughs> I almost dropped that. It's too bad because it looks really pretty on my finger, but not on my arm. And that totally looks like a bruise on my leg. And then some of these here are from Everyday Minerals. I don't know if they still make this stuff anymore, but um, these are just little sample sizes as well. It was like EverydayMinerals.com or whatever. And so here's a silver spoon. This one's just kind of kind of silvery with gold specks. This one is called Good China. And it's just kind of a champagne color. This one is Samba Lessons and it's brown. And this one is Cypress eyeshadow. And this is like a moss green. This is um, looks kind of like what I have from Bare Minerals called moss. Let's see. Is that all? And then this one, yeah. Samba Lessons. In the Garden. And it's another brown. And then this one is nice. This one's Baby Bath. This is just really natural and nice. Look at all my glitter. And these guys fill their little pots to the brim. So this one, I forgot what it's called, Baby's Breath. And this one's really powdery and nice, just like Bare Minerals. Look at that. It looks really white. Okay, here it is without the light. Isn't that pretty? And I'll put it on my hand. Okay, so it's right there. I mean, it's like almost like you can't even see it. It's just a total natural, just a totally hint gleam of color. So I think this would just look really nice as a nude makeup day. It's so pretty. I forgot I had all this. It's been under my sink. Um, okay. Oh yeah, baby, baby bath. That's what that was called. And then here's a Bare Minerals called Diamond, or Flawless Diamond. Something I've never worn. I would get these off of QVC in a set. And so, like these would come with a blush or something. And this is Smoky Diamond and it's brown. And this is called Cognac Diamond. And it's kind of brown. And this one's fun. This one's called Citrus Twist. And it's peach. What's this? Um, this I believe I got at the MAC counter. I don't know what it is. It might be blue-brown or green-blue or something. Oh, yeah, it is. In fact, I have another one. They, this is the, this is how what the sample they gave me. It was like hardly anything. They just put like one tiny little... It was ridiculous. I got... Okay, it was at Nordstrom. It's from the Nordstrom counter. And so I actually have another sample of it, and there's quite a bunch in it. But yeah, so anyway, what color is this? Like blue-brown. What's with my lighting? Yeah. That's a nice color. Except for there's a lot of red in it. It pulls red. But it's really pretty. Anyway. It always looks better on your finger than it does your eye. See, look at all that red. It's like orange red. Oh well. Anyway. So this is all the eyeshadow I have under my sink. Cherry Fizz. This is pink. Alright. Well, so much for that. So anyway, if they have Circa Plum still, give it a shot. This was from Mac.
and you can go to Whole Cosmetics, allcosmeticswholesale.com. It might still be there, it might not. I don't know. But we're gonna go now. Say goodbye. <laughs> Tomorrow, I am going to help my cousin go to her doctor appointment. She had an operation on her foot and she has like all these pins. And so I have to take her to the doctor. So that'll be in the afternoon. So anyway, that's what I'm doing tomorrow. I, I should be vlogging. I don't really think I'll be able to vlog with her, but I can maybe secretly vlog around. We're going up to the University of Utah because that's where her doctor is. So anyway, I hope you had a great day. Thanks for hanging out with me. Sorry it was a little bit boring today and Saturday, but it is what it is. I hope you have a wonderful sleepy. And we'll see you next time. Good night, everybody. That is just not attractive. It's nasty.